In this video, we're just going to go ahead and do the example numbers 4, 5, and 6 in the day one notes for graphing f prime from f. And here we get, again, we have on the left hand side, we have the graph of f of x. And if we just follow our steps, we want to determine the x coordinates in which the slope of f, slope of f is equal to 0. So we draw a horizontal tangent line, estimate that to be about negative 1.2. So negative 1.2, we have an x-intercept on the graph of f prime. And then it looks like we have an x-intercept on f prime. So a uh, tangent line that has a slope of 0 right here when x is equal to 2. Okay, And then maybe you've gotten a little bit better at this from the very beginning. And maybe you're seeing, oh, okay, well, here we have the slopes getting bigger in the negative direction. Sorry. Let me start over. From negative infinity, the slopes are really, really big, and then they get smaller and smaller and smaller. So if we're graphing slopes, let's say when x is equal to negative 2, that looks like about a 2. When x is equal to negative 3, maybe a 3 or so. x is equal to negative 4, bigger number, bigger number, bigger number, bigger number. Okay? And then, let's say just to the right of this horizontal tangent line, we can see when we when x is equal to 0, we have a slope maybe of negative 1, okay? And then maybe the slope gets a little bit bigger in the negative direction, a little bit bigger in the negative direction, then we have the tangent line slopes getting less and less steep, so closer and closer to 0, so we have values coming down like that. And then slope, let's say, at when x is equal to 3, let's say the slope looks like about 1 or 2, something like that. And then when x is equal to 4, the slope is a little bit higher. So slope is a little, yeah, the slope is a little bit higher. The slope is a higher number, if you want to say it like that. So we get bigger and bigger slopes, so the slopes get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so we get a... You know, regression line here. So the two key points on this graph of f prime are the x-intercepts. Again, where f prime is equal to 0 is where we have an x-intercept on the graph of f prime, where we have horizontal tangent lines to the graph of f. Okay? <clears throat> urge you to pause the video and if you want to, if you want, if you really want to challenge, pause the video and do numbers 5 and 6. Okay, maybe 5 won't be as big of a challenge as 6, I guarantee. 6 is, is much more difficult than 5. And so if I were you and I wanted a challenge, I would pause the video now and then watch the videos after you've finished graphing f prime. Okay, so number 5, same deal. Where is f prime equal to 0? Looks like about 1 or maybe a little less than 1. Yes, you can have an f prime. You can have a tangent line that's horizontal that goes through the graph. If you remember in one of the previous videos, we talked about the tangent line. If you're drawing a, let's say you're driving a car along the path, well, when you get to this point here, you're, you're starting to move horizontally just for a moment. And right there where you have that uh, x-intercept on f, it looks like x-intercept on f, you also have... Uh, a horizontal tangent line. It looks like the headlights and the taillights would be following that path right there. And then you start getting steeper and steeper in the negative direction there. Here you're getting, <clears throat> well, we'll get to that. So we've got x-intercept there. When x is equal to 2, it looks like a negative 1. When x is equal to 3, it looks like 4. It looks like they get steeper and steeper in the negative direction. And then when x is equal to negative 1, maybe we have a uh, negative 1 as well. Or 0, it's close. Uh, negative 1, negative 1, something like that. And it looks like as x moves to the left, the slopes are bigger in the negative direction. So you just follow the path. Something like that. Okay? And finally, <clears throat> this is where it becomes very, very important to uh, make sure you follow the steps. Okay. So number six. We're trying to find any places around this graph where you have a slope of zero, and we don't have any horizontal tangent lines. Okay. So that's going to be a, a bit of an issue. 
So now we just have to pick some points here and just see if we can figure out a pattern. Okay, When x is 0, it looks like the slope of the tangent line is about negative 1. So we're going to put a negative 1 right there. When x is equal to 2, let's say, looks like the slope is really, really small, like down 1 and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So negative 5 or 6, perhaps. Oh, down, sorry, down 1 and over 5 or 6, so negative 1 sixth or negative 1 fifth. And that's when x is equal to, what did I say, 2? Okay, so like that. And then as you move to the right, as x gets bigger in the positive direction, the slopes are, are virtually 0, but still negative. You can see that the function is decreasing here the whole way, right, for all real numbers except for this vertical asymptote. But for all real numbers, anywhere on the graph, the, the values are decreasing. But the slopes are getting closer and closer to zero. Okay, so it's hard to draw that, but let's take a look and see what happens between negative one and zero. So if we pick, let's say, negative one half, the slope is big in the negative direction, like uh, if we extend that up here, we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and over one, so negative seven, negative eight, something like that. But you can see the slope's getting bigger in the negative direction. And actually, what happens is you're going to get a vertical asymptote. The, the derivative doesn't exist. Remember, it, this function is not differentiable. The derivative doesn't exist where we have a discontinuity. And we have a discontinuity here when x is equal to negative 1. Okay? So if we have a discontinuity on f of x, we're going to have a discontinuity on f prime of x. Okay? So what ends up happening is you get the derivative graph looking like that. Okay? To the right of the vertical asymptote. Well, let's see what happens to the left of the vertical asymptote. Okay? So... Okay, where was I? Let's see here. I just paused the video and I got distracted. Negative 2, when x is negative 2, it looks like the slope here is about negative 1. So negative 2, negative 1. And then when x is equal to, let's say, negative 4. Okay, let's go over here. When x is negative 4, the slope would be more like negative 1 over 3, negative 1 fourth, something like that. But as you notice here, the slopes are going to get closer and closer to 0 but they're still going to be negative. Closer and closer to zero, but still negative means they're going to do just that kind of a thing right there where x e y equals zero is going to be a horizontal asymptote. And then as you can see here, as you get closer, the limit as x gets closer and closer to negative one from the left is negative infinity. So these slopes are going down towards negative infinity. And that is the derivative of f of x. And there you go. We'll do more of that in class. Uh, make sure you do those, I think it was four problems on the Google form. Answer your questions on the Google form, and I'll see you in class.